Oh, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives <coughs> a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're, they're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog. And I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a married couple. Oh, come on. Correct. No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance, Mum? What? <laughs> no. That's how the police works. Prior to the incident, are you related? Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying to help you, Mom. I need to establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Sure! Just track this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. <laughs> Stay on the line! I'm having to eat some oh, did you witness cruelty to animals? What the fuck? What? You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to animal... <laughs> I got kidnapped! That was the first thing I said. Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. Oh, this is ridiculous. Hello? Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself from the hospital. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? No, it's not like that. Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. <coughs> I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm not fucking crazy. So, that's it. You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. Sure. It's best if you contact your doctors. Would you like me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. I just said something positive about this game earlier, didn't I? Okay, woo, out of the window, woo, gone. <laughs> This is ridiculous! I'm kidnapped! I'm eating some donuts here and I can't really help you. I'm sorry. I just, do you need some medical help? They have to check that, even if it's a mental patient. He should have seen her number. He should have seen, oh, that's not her number she's calling for. That is strange. What the fuck? Game? Well, I still don't know who to call. So, yes. I need some other ingredient, and for some reason I can't remember what I need. Um. So, go to the crazy nurse lady again, and perhaps this time I won't just barge in and be like, oh, hello! I can ready. I don't need to put it on right now. Okay, don't do it. Let 
Rest up, lawnmower. Let's save. Uh, silent. Peek in. Ah, I can just peek in. Piles of meat. Could it be human too? I could probably find something useful on those shelves, but first I need, he need her to go away. Let's stay and watch. Let's use the brick. Okay, don't use the brick. Let's use the bleach. Let's use the cloth. Perhaps I just have to wait until she does something. Or not. She will run out of meat sooner or later. Then I hide it at the table and wait until she's gone and then I go in again and take whatever she got on her shelves there. Makes sense. Or not. So I can't just make a noise somehow or whatever. Why can't I just smash her with the fucking brick? I mean, I could sneak up on the doctor. I could just, yeah, do her in with the fucking brick. Okay, apparently the game doesn't want me to do this. Stay and watch. Okay, that's not working. Leave. Oh, I could... Yeah, okay. I could use the brick to smash the window in and then call this house so she moves out of there. Well, that sounds reasonable. Let's try this. I mean, I have the number here. Uh, book. Ah. Oh, I accidentally take mobile phone. Make a call. Oh no! 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 Damn it! I can't remember my own number. <coughs> I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Answer. No one is calling. Okay. Let's have to walk around for it a bit, a little bit. So I can't call. Oh, I could place it somewhere. Game, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I hate mobile phones, I never had one myself, but right now it uh, could might be useful. The battery is fully charged. All I have to do is to dial a number. Okay, I still have the phone book from 10 years ago. Woohoo! So, shit. Uh, no. Okay, or not. 
<clears throat> I mean, I have to be quite honest, I don't know my own number two, mostly because A, I don't call myself that often, and B, I have it saved on my mobile phone. If I need it, I can just look there and be like, okay, that's my number. Have fun with it. So there's absolutely nothing in this room. Seems legit. I can't do anything here. I shouldn't get too close. Okay, that doesn't work out. I can just examine the bucket. I only I could talk to Mitzi first. So I somehow have to... Pfft. I have no idea what I have to do. <coughs> Great! A oh, find Susan's number. <laughs> My number's here, I better memorize it, it might come in handy. Right. <clears throat> come on, Mitzi, answer the phone. God, finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. The police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. What's the chemical? Tell me now! You have to call the police. Yes, of course. I will, Miss Ashworth. But, wait. What should I tell them? Do you know where you are? No idea. Out of town? Somewhere? Have you tried talking to the police yourself? Yeah. They think I'm nuts. Shit. <coughs> what are you going to do then? I'm going to take care of it myself. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. I heard someone say once. Oh god. I wish I could do something. Anything. Just call them and say that I've gone missing. Maybe they'll put two and two together and actually take Michael seriously at last. Sure. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. 
This will be like a walk in the park. Okay, so I know now that I need pesticide. That doesn't help me at all getting her out of the fucking womb. Unless this is one of these games where a trigger is now set and she will actually leave the womb for some reason or another. <sighs> I don't need to hide at the moment, okay. Which titties is still here? So let me save again. No. Save. Let's just go in. Perhaps I can now do something else. Well, well. Look what the Didn't I just kill you two times? Again. This one just keeps coming back for more. You don't think it's strange. I'll just take your headers on. Or not! Cut her fucking head off. Okay, that's not how you do it. <sighs> not here. No one is caught. Okay, I can't make a call here. Perhaps it would make sense to make a call outside, get her all the way over to the uh, library, then sneaking in and taking the thing and hiding under the table. That would make too much sense, I guess. Okay, I cannot look at the pest control then. This call thing is just so like, yeah, look at this. It's awesome. <sighs> or not. Is there one option? That would be great. Okay, I can't use the telephone book anymore. I can still use the phone. Uh, yeah, here I can't call someone either. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's the same number as outside, or? 273-59. Two seven three five nine two. 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 Okay, that's not the same as here. Uh, apparently, that's his uh, cell phone. Phoning. Okay. Phone's on the other side of the house. From here, I won't be able to hear if it's ringing. Okay. Now I will make a call in every. Should have ah okay that scared me ah so she's like yeah I'll see her again okay I should have been in the room with the table would have made sense but apparently I'm immortal so it doesn't matter la 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 let's try.